Hey, I'm the Wolfman. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. Uh, it's still a little bit uh, around the zero mark, so it's still freezing out. I can still run the dogs today. If you want to learn more about me, hit me up on wolfman.com. I'm going to put that link right there. There we are. So I'm running the whole pack today. So I have here, we've got lead dog Luna, and we have Lada and Lacey right there. And of course, this is my Malmute Cross Loco. We've got Colty, and right here, we've got Willow. So one of the big things people ask me all the time is to ask me about my bike. Uh, the bike is called the Paw Tracker. This is the Paw Tracker right there. Um, it has a whole bunch of really unique and great features which make it fantastic for this kind of work. So the first thing, of course, it's uh, there's no pedals or anything on it. So if the dog line goes back and bangs into the vehicle, uh, there won't be any problems uh, with it getting caught up. It has uh, disc brakes right there, you can see. So the uh, brake pads are actually in here so they don't get full crap when you're out on the trail. Uh, it has nice handlebars on it, I do like that. And of course, the big thing that sets the Paw Trekker apart from every other type of bike is this right here. So all of the leads and the leashes and stuff like that, you can see all of my lines, they actually attach right here onto this. So what that does is it keeps it away from when you're running and racing from the lines possibly pulling into all the mechanism of the bike. This one also has front suspension on it too, which makes for a little bit of a smoother ride, especially when you're out 10, 15 kilometers. So that's the Paw Trekker. Um, you can order them online, of course, pawtrekker.com, but they are expensive. They are, you know, uh, in American Canadian dollars, they end up being almost uh, $2,000, maybe 3,000 with shipping. So they're very, very expensive. So anyways, let's go on out and hit the trails. I'm the Wolfman, I wanna thanks for watching and I'll see you on the other side. Okay, team at the ready, team power up. <laughs> another three or four kilometer run on asphalt. The upside to running on asphalt is the dogs don't get as dirty and muddy when they're in my home after the run. Uh, it's nice and flat and smooth so they can get a lot of speed going on. Anyways, I wanna thank you so much for watching this video. I'm the Wolfman, please consider subscribing.